Hey there, photography enthusiasts. Welcome back to Kate Sylvia Photography, where we explore the world of pixels and perfect shots. Today, we're diving into the ring with two heavyweights in the photo editing world, Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Now, if you've been a diehard Lightroom Classic user, you might have noticed that the new Lightroom is a sleek, trimmed down version. Or is it? In this video, we're going to uncover the 15 things that the new Lightroom lacks, leaving classic users longing for the good old days. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's unravel the mysteries of Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Stick around till the end because you won't want to miss the comparisons and the verdict on which one might be your new editing companion. Let's get started. First of all, just so we know, we're all talking about the same Lightroom here because Adobe couldn't have made it any more complicated if they tried. This is what Lightroom Classic looks like. And this is what the new Lightroom looks like. No longer confused? Fantastic. Moving on. The first thing you might notice in the new Lightroom is the new local tab. Okay, so this is what all the hubbub is about. This is why people are wondering if they should make the switch from Lightroom Classic to Lightroom. But if you are making that consideration, I want you to know about a few things that you might miss. Number one, you can't rename your files. So when you are going through your files, if renaming is a big part of your workflow, you're going to miss it because the only way to do it is either within the folder itself on the individual images, or you can go out to your hard drive on your Finder or your Windows Explorer and name them there. Number two, we don't have collections. No collections on the local drive. If you want to use collections, you got to go to the cloud, which means if you're going to be using collections, you're going to be using up cloud storage. If you're not paying for the one terabyte a month of storage, you've only got 20 gigabytes. And if you ask me, that's not very much. Number three, if you do a lot of studio work and you use tethered capture, you will not be able to do that in the new Lightroom. You can still do it in Lightroom Classic. Number four, if you travel a lot and you have a catalog that you bring with you, Lightroom Classic is where you're going to be unless you use the cloud version and upgrade to that one terabyte a month in order to have all your photos with you in the cloud while you're traveling. Because you will not be able to browse your local catalog and files and folders offline while you're traveling. You can only see what's in the cloud. Number five, there's no color labels. Are you going to miss it? Mm, that's up to you. Number six, there is no hierarchical keywording here. We do have keywords. We can search by keyword, but we can only search one folder at a time. You cannot search the entire catalog because there is no catalog. Number seven, in the masking panel, we have no brush presets. You've got the brush. You've got every other capability in here that you could want. We just don't have the brush presets anymore. But of course, you can still use them in Lightroom Classic. Number eight, there is no sync capabilities here. You do not have it just a sync button, but you can copy and edit your settings. So is that really a loss? Probably not, but that's up to you. Number nine. This is probably one that I'm going to personally miss a little bit if I decide to make the switch over to regular Lightroom instead of using Lightroom Classic, and that is that there is no history of my edits. In the develop module of Lightroom Classic, you can see the history state of everything that you've done to your images in the past. You're not going to see that in the new Lightroom. Number 10, no virtual copies. While you have the ability in Lightroom Classic to make a virtual copy of any image and work on that copy, you do not have that ability in Lightroom, but you can do variations in the cloud only, not on the local drive. Number 11, no plugin support. Hopefully that'll change, but right now all we can do is bring it into Photoshop. And that is the route that I would typically take for my plugins anyway. But if you have gotten into the habit of using your plugins directly from Lightroom Classic, you're going to miss that in the new Lightroom. Number 12, we don't have any secondary monitor or display support in Lightroom. So if you routinely use two different monitors while editing your images in Lightroom Classic, you're going to want to stick with Classic. Number 13, we do not have any export presets other than the few that it comes with. We can export and then make some choices within the export panel, but that's about the best you can do. No presets. And number 14 and 15 and actually uh, 16 and 17. Okay, we have a few more. So no book, no slideshow, no print, and no web. These things will not be available 
in the new Lightroom. The only one that most people are probably going to miss is the print. I typically print from Photoshop, so I'm not going to miss that. Still on the fence about making the switch though, because I kind of do like the catalog system once you get used to it. So my biggest piece of advice, don't use both. Get used to either Lightroom Classic or the new Lightroom. Do not mix and match. Do not work on the local tab within Lightroom and start moving things around, changing names, adding keywords, adding star ratings and things like that, and then expect to see them in the Lightroom Classic. You're going to confuse it. Don't do that. You will make it mad. So if you've been using Lightroom Classic for years and the catalog system drives you bananas, by all means, this is who the new Lightroom is for. It's for the photographer who has their own folder structure that they've been using for years and are very used to it and very disciplined with that folder structure because you're going to miss the entire catalog system if you don't already have a normal folder structure. So if you're one of those photographers who's been keeping all of their images, say, in one folder or organizing by date and keywording the heck out of them, you're probably going to miss that feature having a catalog very, very much. If you're the type of photographer who doesn't use collections much on, a, on your hard drive, you just want to see photos on your computer, edit them and export them, and that's all you want to do, then Lightroom, the new Lightroom with the local tab is probably your best bet. It's going to make life a little bit easier for you because you're not going to confuse it by changing names or deleting files or anything outside of the program. Those are the things that make Lightroom Classic very angry because of that catalog system. If you're doing that kind of work within Lightroom itself here, this Lightroom, again, not Lightroom Classic, then this workflow is probably perfect for you. A workflow that I might suggest is using this Lightroom just for your cloud photos, organizing some albums that you might want to carry with you in the field, and then using Lightroom Classic for all of your other work. Just a suggestion. Otherwise, just pick one and stick with it. I hope this has helped you guys out. Check out this other video with more help about Lightroom.